Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create an anaglyph 3D effect in a Fendi photo. An anaglyph is a type of stereoscopic image that is usually viewed with 3D glasses. These type of images have been around since the 1850s. An anaglyph 3D image contains two filtered colored images that are used for each eye. Red and cyan are the typical colors used for this effect. When looking through the red cyan 3D glasses, the left eye sees the red color while the right eye sees the blue color. First, go to File, Open, and select the image of the woman. Press Ctrl and J two times to make two duplicates of the image. To make this effect, it involves removing all of the red from one image and removing the green and blue from the other image. This is why we duplicated the image twice. Select the first duplicated layer. Next, go to the Channels panel. This panel shows all of the color channels along with the alpha channels for an image or a layer you select. Scroll down past the Composite Color Channel section. Right-click on the background green and select Clear. Then, right-click on the background blue and select Clear. This will remove the blue and the green color from the selected layer, leaving us with just red, which is one of the colors we need for the effect. In the Layers panel, label this layer red. Now, select the second duplicated layer. Go to the Channels panel again. Right-click on the background red and select Clear. We're now left with blue and green, which will be the cyan color we need for the effect. Label this layer cyan in the Layers panel. After that, select the cyan layer. Lower the opacity of the layer to about 60%. Then, take the Move tool. Press and hold Shift and move the cyan layer slightly to the right. We can now see the cyan and the red coming through the image, creating our anaglyph. The image will pop even more if you view it with a pair of 3D glasses. Next, grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. Take the node on the left side in the middle and bring it in some to the right to crop out the protruding red part. Then, hit Apply. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. Set the Brightness to 9% and the Contrast to negative 8%. This is just to brighten up the image some. Now this part is optional, but instead of red and cyan, we could also make the anaglyph 3D effect using red and green. Go to File Open and select the image of the man. Next, make two duplicates of the image by pressing Ctrl and J two times. In the Layers panel, label the first duplicated layer red and the second layer green. Select the red layer. Next, go to the Channels panel. Then, right-click on the red, blue, and select Clear. Now, right-click on the red-green and select Clear. Like before, this gives us the red color we need and it removed the blue and green from the image. Once you've done that, select the green layer. Right-click on the green-red and click Clear. Now, right-click on the green-blue and click Clear. Since green is the color we wanted here, both red and blue had to be removed from the image. Now, lower the opacity of the green layer to 50%. Take the Move tool. Then, press and hold Shift and move the green layer slightly to the right. Next, grab the Crop tool and pull the left side in to the right to remove the red part like we did before. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select Brightness and Contrast. Set the Brightness to 16% and the Contrast to 10%. And this is how to create an anaglyph 3D effect in a Fendi photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.